Welcome to Allen Engineering Assembly. I'm going to walk you through the alignment process of the 450 and 470 belt system. The tools you're going to need for this, you're going to need an 11 sixteenths box in wrench and a 5 sixteenths box in wrench. 3 eighths, 5 eighths, excuse me. 7 30 seconds Allen key and a 3 sixteenths Allen key and a number 4 Allen key. And a half inch socket. Okay, first process in aligning this belt system is to pry this outer bearing in the slots all the way up. Once you have that there, take your 5 8 and your 11 16 wrench and tighten, tighten down your bearing bolts. Once you have that, take a tape measure and measure from the inside of this plate to your pulley. Should be right at two and measure from the back side of the plate to the inside of the pulley. Usually it's close to a quarter inch off, but that can be taken care of. Next step, to help get your tension on your belt, you will take your half inch socket to your bearing adjuster and you will run your bolts just till they touch to start. Once you start to get tension on your belt, you'll want to come back and measure your gap on your pulley again. So once you've done that and they're close enough, say a 16 within each other, you will take your nuts and you will turn them an equal amount of turns each time. So we'll go one, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. Once you have your belt snug, you'll come back and measure your gap again on your pulleys. And they should be at two to two and a sixteenth. They're gonna be right within one another. Once you have that, you can take your 5 8 and your 11 16 and tighten down your bearing bolts on your front bearing.
After you've done that, we'll take red Loctite to this lower pulley on the drive line. There's one. I'm going to slide this back a little bit. Then you'll tighten these Allen keys down. And the process of doing this is turn each side an equal amount of turns at the same time. If you turn this side twice, turn the other side twice. So we have one. Two. three. And now what I'll do is spin this around so I can get to the other Allen key. So I can turn it three times. One. Two. Three. And you can stay on this side and turn it three more times and then turn back to the other side and turn it three and that's what I'm going to do. So tighten them until they're all the way snug and you pulled the bearing on top of the H bushing and it locks it down on the shaft and the key and it should be in line with your top pulley. Next process I will show you the alignment of the top shaft with the bottom shaft. You'll need a torpedo level. And place it across the top of the two plates. You'll need your Allen keys to turn each set screw an equal amount of turns. You will tighten this belt just until it starts to get snug, but you want to make sure that your half inch bolts are loose so when you use the adjustment, these plates can rise. And you will turn these an equal amount of turns or until you start to get tension on this belt and the plates stay level. You may turn one more than the other. Once you have tension on this belt, you take three quarter inch wrenches and tighten up your half inch bolt. Should be four, two on each side. Once you've done that, you can take your Allen key, your red Loctite, and lock down the H bushing and pulley on the upper shaft. Same process for the top one as it was the bottom one. And that is the final process of belt alignment.